keep my eyes on the road because that's what's safe. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm on my way home from a meeting. It is a beautiful day out. Very warm, but gorgeous. It looks like I'm coming up to some traffic. We saw Ghostbusters last night. It was so good. I loved it. I didn't really go in with any expectations. And I didn't read any of the reviews or anything. But to be honest, I wasn't a huge Ghostbusters fan growing up. I never, I've actually never even seen any of the movies. Which for better or worse, I, they just weren't my type of film when I was a kid. But I loved it. I like loved the combination, the women. Like I love Melissa McCarthy. I love Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, Leslie Jones. They were all just so funny. My husband, who was a Ghostbusters fan, like a, a fan of the older films, said that there were like so many cute nods to the old films, and it was just, it was a really nice was a really nice movie it was a really nice sort of like date date movie so if you're on the fence about going to see Ghostbusters I definitely would it was fun it was just like a fun movie and I think I think the world needs some fun right now anyway so yeah we actually also which is really exciting we ordered Chinese food for the first time last night and I feel like that's a big deal because everyone has that Chinese food restaurant that's near them that they really love that's like their go-to Chinese food at least in my world they do and we had some great Chinese food restaurant oh, we love Chinese food we had some great Chinese food restaurants in New York not just in the city but even just where I grew up some great options so moving down here obviously we knew we weren't going to have seamless and you know we knew we were giving up a lot of those <laughs> a lot of those luxuries but last night, so there were a few like Chinese food res references or like a couple scenes with Chinese food in the movie. So on our way home, I was like, oh, I'm really craving Chinese food. And we haven't ordered food at all. The only times we've gone out to eat here, with the exception of like one, one or two like of the Disney restaurants, have been to eat those, the vegan kitchen, which is amazing. We're going tomorrow for brunch, yum. But we haven't we haven't experienced like the Chinese food around here. So we were, there's a Chinese food restaurant called Lei China in like, the Celebration Shopping Center. So I looked them up. They actually had a like, order on the app. They had that, which I thought, oh my God, that's amazing. I don't know like what kind of world I thought I was living in, but obviously like, <laughs> obviously everyone is like up to times and like, of course they would have, you know, be part of, it was called, it's called Beyond Menu is the app. It's a great app. It's just like Seamless and they're part of Beyond Menu and oh my goodness, we were able to order our food. We got crispy tofu, we got veggie lo mein, we got broccoli with garlic sauce, guys. If you're ever in celebration or you're in Orlando and you're looking for some great Chinese food, what a gem. What a gem. So great. Their food was so good. So delicious. Some of probably, I'm going to just, I'm going to say it. Some of the best Chinese food I've had, and I've had a lot of Chinese food, and their Chinese food, I feel like a good, like a good scale in terms of how well like a Chinese food restaurant is is how good is their plain white rice how good is it is it is it tasty does it taste like nothing is it super sticky is it undercooked I feel and this is just my opinion but I feel if the white rice is really delicious and packed with flavor then you found yourself a good restaurant and of course the other dishes have to be good but that I, for me that's the sign of a truly amazing Chinese food restaurant and the rice was amazing it was so delicious honestly when I think back like that was part of probably my favorite part of the meal was just the rice which is hilarious because I barely even eat white rice I tend to like brown rice but their white rice was so good so delicious so yeah we have Chinese food and it was so good. We kept watching Game of Thrones. We're on season four. I want to say episode four now. We're just re-watching it. It's fun. I have caught so many things that I didn't realize. And I mean, it's hard when you're watching it for the first time. There's so much happening, right? And you're just like taking it all in. And then when you 
go back and watch it, especially some of the earlier seasons, there's just so much like foreboding. There's there's just so much there that you're, and they've even said it. The ex executive producers have even said in interviews that they've made the series sort of like in layers. So if you go back and watch some of like the first few seasons and the first few episodes, there's so much there for you to uncover. And oh my goodness, like they say this and this, which totally like predicts that this is gonna happen. And I I love that kind of stuff because I'm a huge nerd. But dig it, I dig it. Today I'm so excited. Tony Robbins has a documentary on Netflix called I'm Not Your Guru, and I'm really excited to watch it because I did read his book, Awaken the Giant Within, and I really liked it. Like, I I love that book, and that was one of those books that, you know, you go through with a highlighter, or just me, no? I go through with a highlighter and with a pen, I write, like, oh, I need to remember this, or, you know, it's just one of those books that you're like, okay, this is... A, this is great. This has a lot of great information in it. I'm going to keep it. And it's going to be something I always like reference back to if you're that type of person. And it was a book that I like then gave to my husband afterwards and was like, you have to read this. You have to read this. And it was quite interesting because not long, maybe it was like two weeks ago, he was in the news because a couple people, like, I'm not a couple, a lot of people were at his, one of his like weekend seminars and he does this thing where people walk across coals sort of demonstrating like mind over matter and a bunch of like more than 50 people had to go to the hospital because they got third degree burns and I mean I thought that was very interesting like I'm a huge I don't want to say guru because they're not gurus they're motivational speakers and I think people sometimes get kind of confused and start like worshiping these people and you know it's not at least I think, and I don't know because I haven't watched the documentary yet, but Tony Robbins doesn't seem to be preaching that he is, you know, a religious deity. Like, he real. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't watched that. I'll let you know when I watch the documentary what my thoughts are. I'm excited to watch the documentary, and I do agree with most of what he says. I did think, though, that it was that Walking on Coals incident was quite interesting because I know that they... They said, like, 300 people walk across the coals at every one of these conventions, and there's a bajillion of these conventions, and, you know, this is the first time, or whatever, and, you know, most people are safe doing it, and the media blew it out of proportion, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I do, like, I think something like that is a little interesting, and, you know, you have to kind of know, you know, when to pull back, and is that, you know, a little bit of a, a check but anyway, so I'm excited to watch that today. I think that'll be interesting. I definitely need to go to the gym today to work off that Chinese food because bless. And I'm not one to be like, oh, I feel like I look fat today or whatever. But, you know, the day after Chinese food body is always just a little like fluffier than, than the regular, than your reg body. So I'm definitely going to go to the gym. And that's it. I think today's going to be pretty straightforward how to talk to my husband about a few things and then just kind of planning the week ahead let me mention if you don't know already and I always put it in the description box below but follow me on social media I have to be honest like are my social medias the most exciting thing to follow in the whole world maybe not but maybe they are you wouldn't know unless you were following or friending me so definitely find me on Twitter I'm at the Erica Moulton on Instagram, I'm Erica, always with a K, underscore Moulton. On Snapchat, I'm Erica.Moulton. Snapchat is so hilarious, I can't. And yeah, you're here on YouTube already. And if you aren't already, def subscribe because there's more of these car vlogs. There's more just normal vlogs. I've been uploading a lot of like Erica Explains videos where I just talk about different things. Let me know in the comments below if you have an idea, something you want me to talk about. I've already talked about my college experience, how I curl my hair, and what was the other one? Oh, why I'm vegan. But if off the top of your head you're like, oh, I would really like to know like what your childhood was like, or what life in New York City was like, or what life on a cruise ship was like, definitely let me know, because I'd be more than happy to explain. And yeah, thanks for riding along with me. I 
I will talk to you all really soon.